Oregon surviving 16-13 at Wisconsin. That defensive grittiness that you saw from from Oregon in that game. We've seen the defense come up with big plays down the stretch, and uh, I saw there was a lot of folks that either took issue with or are bringing up Dan Lanning's aggressiveness is going to bite Oregon at some point if if he keeps going and trying to pull a rabbit out of his hat all the time. The fake field goal by Oregon where you try with your punter to pick up the final <laughs> final four yards of a drive mm-hmm. instead of getting three more on the board and making it a 19-13 to game. You go for the fake field goal and try to ice the game Salt right it there. away. Yeah. You needed four. You ended up getting three yards out of mm-hmm. it. Um, we talked about where the wind was going. I think that the, the fact of the matter is that Oregon's final four drives of the game on defense, Wisconsin ran 12 plays for zero yards on their final four drives of the football game. If you go back, if you go back and you look at it, prior to the uh, the fake field goal, Wisconsin went three plays for one yard, three plays for minus nine yards, then they went four plays for one yard. Those were the three drives prior to going for that fake field goal. Mm-hmm. There was faith that where be it the conditions. And the wind going into the face and saying, we dare you to try to throw the ball. And you saw that that Braden Locke w- Couldn't. was ineffective in doing that throughout the course of the game. Um, you had that. And then what your the way that your defense was playing and the fact that you were wearing down Wisconsin as the game went on. We saw that the push started coming back in that fourth quarter. Yeah. And. I think that played a massive role in it where you're sitting there and you're going, no, we our defense is playing at this level right now. Yeah. We're going to continue to go. And what ended up happening is you get that interception from Mateo Uyunglele and you're able to ice the game and it's over. Yeah. I, I don't have a problem with landing going for it because he's shown that that's who he is. That's this isn't anything new. This isn't year one of it. This isn't year two of it. It's year three of it. And it's been same and consistent. And that's who he is. I, have no issue about that. The only thing where the only nits that I'm picking, keep your offense out there. Yeah, go go for it if with, gonna, with if your you're, offense. Yeah, like because they, yeah. you just I can see that. Yeah, just to, just on personnel alone. Like they just if you're gonna do it, that's that's the only I think. Like yeah. look, you can say that you know you're trying to catch them by surprise, blah blah. blah but look, when you when you do that, it depends so much on near perfect execution, mm-hmm. and you're putting players in a position who haven't done that regularly. Whereas if it's Dylan Gabriel, if it's Jordan Boy, James, that hole was huge though. I know, I know, but I mean, I'm just saying, like <laughs> yeah. you're just. But you have your punter trying to get four, and he got three. Yeah, and yeah. It, look, if it's if it's and then Jordan James was an absolute dog this weekend. Mm-hmm. Jordan James was that guy was running angry with authority yeah. in the fourth quarter. And he look, had some angry runs do you, there. Do you go direct handoff to Jordan James for four yards there? Probably not. I mean, mm-hmm. you, you get a little weird with it. But I think if it's me again. I'm not angry about it. I'm not sitting there like, oh, my God, I can't believe they went for it. Again, if, I, if I'm just picking nits, I would rather put it in Dylan Gabriel or Jordan James's hands. Figure it yep. out from there. I think there's an element of putting everything on tape, too, and having people always have to prepare sure. for all those things, all the special teams wrinkles that they've thrown and at they've teams recently. And they've got so many. Yeah, it's bit pretty incredible. Mm-hmm. Um, those are – there's a lot of factors that, that went into that, and I think – I don't have a problem with going for it. I don't have a problem really with what they did either because of the way the defense was playing at that mm-hmm. at that juncture. Um, because at that point, you your defense on those three previous drives had allowed negative seven yards. <laughs> Doing just fine. It seems it seems a pretty good little number to, and, to and hang here's your thing, hat on. Let's if Wisconsin gets it, you tip your hat to them. Yeah, that's what you do. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, well, in in that situation, you go up by six, right? It changes the way the the offense for Wisconsin calls their final drive too, mm-hmm. because instead of needing to get into field goal range where you need to get three, you're then needing to get seven. You're exponentially more aggressive in the way that you you approach mm-hmm. that final drive. So maybe you wanted them to play a little bit more. Hey, we're not gonna we're not gonna 
put throw Braden Locke into the fire and, and take a shot downfield. They just needed to move the ball to a point where they could get into field goal and range. Go for it. Yeah, it, it's it a becomes, different way you call it's, that it's more situation for sure. Yeah, but as it is, I think grinding out a win that is an important thing. And at this point in the year, we saw it with BYU this past weekend. Mm-hmm. We saw it last week. There's only three unbeaten's left in all of college football. One of them had a bye this past week, and that's Indiana, who has Ohio State on the road this weekend. Oregon improves to 11 and 0. I think that having a game like that, where you go on the road into a hostile environment, you get drug into deep water, and you find a way in that fourth quarter. You have your team when jump around comes on. They get just as into it as everybody else in the stadium does, and you see the the cutups of when the the camera was panning Oregon sideline. Landing's face when he saw his guys doing jump around, they were not leading at that time. Yeah, they they were trailing, and he was smiling because he's like, "Yep, we Th- we got it. Time to go." And he talked about that in, in the post game about jump around and in his team and their approach to it. We had a mindset when we entered that game what that song was going to mean for us and, um, you know, what our reaction was going to be to it. You know, kind of like Pavlov's dog, right? When you hear that song, it means it's time to go. Um, didn't know what it would look like in that moment, but that, you know, that was what we were looking for from our team. There you go. That, that, that's how you combat that stuff. They were, it, it was no surprise. Yeah. Them. They were ready for it. They wanted it. You just wish that, like, maybe like the end of the first quarter they play jump around. Yeah, you know? get them get going a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I will say jump around was really cool, but. I don't know how you don't get jacked up by that song. It, it, I mean, the, the, the song, they play it super loud in the stadium, but there's no, like, extra crowd noise. Like, right when they, right when you hear it start, everybody gets excited, but then they just, it's there just people like a, jumping. It's not a chant of, like, oh. No, like where you get like there's the, a the, roar the right when it yeah. starts, and then people just are jumping up and down, and the song is great. Yeah, but it's like it, I think it's made for TV because the TV cameras shake. Yeah, and it because the whole stadium and everybody's jumping, the whole stadium is shaking, and they play it really loud, and it's really cool for TV to kind of see the whole crowd. When I was there, I, I thought it was going to be like they yelled the entire time, and it was like you know you get that bone chilling roar. It wasn't like that, but it was it was really cool. I mean that that's an awesome tradition that they have. It's super it is. cool. It's super cool. Um but Oregon gets out of there and they get a win.